Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the part B's uh, first question which is to write a uh, program for error detecting using CRC algorithm. Okay. So, in CRC algorithm uh, it is used for uh, checking the errors in the code. So, the flow of this video will be like first we will be discussing the algorithm like solving manually the uh, question and then we will be seeing the coding part and discussing each line of code. Okay. So, let us uh, take an example and see how to uh, use this algorithm. So, suppose that the letter given is B, okay, means we have to transfer B from one point to another point, okay, from the source to the destination. So, uh, the ASCII value of B is 98, okay, small b's ASCII value is 98. So, if this is the data to be transferred, we will be checking this, uh, we will be checking that if the transferred data has error or not by using this algorithm, okay. So, uh, for that we will be having a key which will be comparing in the starting and the ending position. If the key is same, that means the data has not changed. If the key is different, that means the data has changed. Okay. So, this is the main uh, objective of this uh, algorithm. So, uh, what is the binary value of 98? The binary value of 98 is 0, double 1, triple 0 and 10. Okay. So, this is the binary value you have to find out. Okay. After writing this binary value, our first task is to write f, 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 f. So, f is the hexadecimal value of 1111, okay. So, below that you have to write 1111 4 times, okay. Uh, now, now, we have written this one, uh, then our, our first step always uh, what it will be is to compare this one with this one, okay. Start from the left, okay. Compare this number with this number. Is it same or not? It is not same, right. It is 1 and 0. If it is not same, what you have to do is we have to left shift it. Left shift means uh, 1 1 1 is there right 4 4 times 1 this all 1 will come here and 1 0 will come here okay that is known as left shift rest all will be 1 here it's just that we are shifting these things uh, by one place and discarding this value and we are inserting a 0 from the right side okay that is known as left shift after we have done this one this is the first step and then since this is different what you have to do is you have to do xor xor with which number 1 0 2 1 remember we have to do xor with 1 0 2 1 Okay, it's okay if you don't understand right now what's happening because you'll be solving it for like eight digits, right? So after that, hopefully you'll get what is the concept. Okay, so let's uh, uh, move further. Here we have to write one zero two one in hexadecimal. What is the hexadecimal of one? I mean binary of one. It's triple zero and one, right? And here it's four zeros, and here it's zero zero one zero, and here it's triple zero and one. After writing this one, you have to do XOR. How to do XOR? If it's different, write there one. Different, different, same, zero. If it's same, z uh, write there as zero. So in the same way, I'll be doing for uh, all of these. Here I'll get zero, one, triple one, and here also I'll get as one. So after you get uh, this one, you will have to write um, one. Okay, one means for the first bit it's over. Okay, so we'll be writing here one. Okay, this will help to keep the track of the uh, algorithm. Okay, this is the first iteration. The first bit is over, now we will be moving on to the second bit. Underline this one and then check this number with this number. Is it different or same? It is same, right? If it is same, what we have to do? Left shift it. Left shifting will always be there, okay? It is just that we will be um, doing XOR when it is different, okay? So let us uh, write down this value. Four ones, I am just left shifting it. See, this will come here, this will come here, this will come here, then this will come here. In the same way, three ones have uh, written here, this one will come here. So, what will be the next value here? 101. One. Okay. 101, one, and this one will come here, and these three one are here, and here I have to insert as zero. So, since this bit is same, I will not be doing XOR. I will be writing here two because it is the second iteration. Okay. Since uh, second iteration is over, I will be comparing this bit with the next bit. It is same or different? It is same, right. If it is same, I have to do the uh, left shift only, I have to not do XOR. So, I will be writing here um, 1011, I am just left shifting it, okay. Here I will get as 4 ones and what I will get here 0, triple 1 and here double 1, double 0. So, this is the third iteration. After the third iteration, we will be comparing this one with the, uh, the next one. Is 0 and 1 same? No, it is not same, right. So, what we have to do? We have to left shift it, then we have to do XOR, okay. After left shifting, I will get here uh, 0, triple 1, then 3, 1 and from here I will get as 0 and then I will get here 4, 1 and here I will get 1, triple 0, okay. So, this is the um, 
half uh, the half iteration of this one because I have to do XOR also then the iteration will be over okay. So when we do XOR which uh, number we have to do XOR with I have to write 1021 below this one okay 0001 all right 1021 then do the XOR 0 uh, it's different different same different same different same and here I'll get 1001 okay so this is the uh, fourth iteration for the fourth bit I have got we have to do uh, we have to do the same thing till we have get eight bits okay so after this one we'll be comparing this one with this one is it same or different it's same right so if it's same we have to do the um, left shift operation so when you do the left shift operation we'll get 1101 um, double 101 here I'll get 1011 and here I'll get 0, 0, 1, 0. This is the uh, fifth iteration because the bit was same I'll not do XOR. Then compare this one with this one. Is it same or different? See here it is 1 and here it is 0 that means it's different. If it's different I have to do the left shift operation I'll get 1, 0, double 1 and 1, 0, double 1, 0, double 1, 0, 0, 1, double 0 okay and after this I have to do the XOR XOR with uh, 1 0 2 1 okay when we do the XOR operation with this one what we'll get is here I'll get 1 0 1 0 here I'll get 1 0 double 1 0 1 double 0 and here I'll get um, 0 1 0 1 these are six iteration after that we have to compare this one with this one is it same or different it's same right so when we left shift it 0 will come uh, in this place right so after that also when we compare this will be the same thing same I have to left shift again so two times I have to left shift to get the final answer right so when we do two times left shift one will come here 0 1 0 this 1 0 will come here then 1 1 0 1 double 0 0 1 and here I will get as um, 0 1 0 1 from here then 2 zeros okay so this is nothing but a and d this is 1 this is 4 so this is the uh, CRC code okay moving on to the coding part of CRC algorithm this is the uh, code part so let uh, let's uh, go through the code firstly um, if you remember in the manual what we have solved is the we have taken FFFF right uh, the four ones and here is the polynomial which is 1021 in CRC will store the uh, FF value and in polynomial will store 1021 okay and after that we have taken the letter which is to be transferred like a B is equal to 98 and in uh, binary it is the binary value of 98 right that binary value will be stored in bytes okay and then after that will be uh, traversing through the bytes means all uh, each byte will be taken into consideration one by one so in our case it's uh, just one byte B will be stored as a single byte which is the 8 bit values and by using a for loop here will be um, checking each bit okay and each bit will be stored in bit here this will be storing if the bit is 1 or 0 okay so as you have uh, as you remember that in the previous uh, example what we have considered in that we had uh, done the left shift operation for all of the code right and only for those uh, bits which are different we will have done XOR right if it is 0 in the uh, 98 uh, bit value and here we if you have one in the left most, uh, left most position at that time we did XOR also right so how we will get to know if it's uh, different or same that will be checked by XOR value okay XOR will give as true if it's different if it's same it will give as false okay so by using this value we'll be checking if it's uh, if XOR has to be done or not if it ha if it uh, has to be done we'll be doing XOR with this value else we'll be skipping this part okay but uh, left shift operation will be done always okay these two lines are just for checking the last bit if it's a 0 or 1 okay and after doing that for the um, all the bytes in the uh, for loop will be uh, coming out of the for loop and will be doing the AND operation with CRC CRC is nothing but the last uh, value which we get in the previous example we got AD14 right so that uh, that's the CRC value Finally, we'll have to do the uh, CRC value and uh, and operation with uh, 0x FFFF. Okay, and after that, we'll be displaying the result. Okay, 
So, here the uh, result is displayed in the um, integer to hex, uh, hex string value of CRC, okay. So, that it will be in the readable format, okay. So, this is basically it about the um, CRC algorithm and thank you for watching, I will see you in the next one.